Hi guys, it's Ross. I hope you're all having a great day. I uh, just wanted to do a video about about um, this. Uh, it's a new product that I've sort of um, found through looking about. Uh, this is it. It's called C O O R, all in capitals, um, and it's basically reclaimed coconut pulp from sort of the outer shell of a coconut. Now this block, just to put it into size comparison with this bucket, I'd say it was. Me. Right, I'd say it was probably an inch and a half thick um, and nine inches square. Now apparently this turns into ten litres of compost, um, which I'm finding quite hard to believe. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is because I need to repot some plants that have came out of my bedroom. Um, mainly because they were running out of space and crushing the other plants. So I've just quickly like rammed them in a seed tray, um, taken them out, and now I'm just going to put them into pots. They're not going to be one per pot, it's going to be two or three per pot, and then as soon as I can, I'm going to get them down to the allotment. Now, apparently, how you're supposed to do this is you're supposed to put your little block of core in the bucket. You're not supposed to break it up or anything, apparently, um, so I'll just do what the manufacturers say for a change. Um, and then you just add three litres of water. There's the first one. And there's three. It's supposed to leave this for ten minutes, but I can see that this is already breaking up. It feels kind of like a like a bit of MDF that's been left to soak. Oh look, broken down into this pulpy concoction. I'm going to go get something to stir it. Break this up. You can add this to your soil. See, look, it's kind of got the sort of layered texture of um, MDF or dried horse poop. Um, or not horse poop, sorry, cow poop. Now the interesting thing I found about this is, to pick it up, it feels like more than 10, um, 10 litres of compost. So theoretically that should be 10 kilograms. I'd say that was probably more like 15. Now 50, if you've ever bought a bag of 10, 10 kilograms of soil, it's sort of, sort of flat. Probably probably a similar size to what this is laid out as, but this seems very quite dense. I've tried to fluff it up, it doesn't seem to be very fluffy. But as soon as you put your hand in it, it's instantly I mean, you can compact it. Oh, look, there is stuff running out of it, but it's still that's a really, really fluffy, fine sort of soil. Um, and the consistency it looks almost like grit that you get on the road, um, but it's not, it's very, very, very soft. Um, which is actually really interesting. So um, I'm going to plant all these now, and I'll tell you how. I'll tell you. I'll show you how I get on. Um, I just think it's really, really fascinating. You could get that tiny little block of just solid mass um, and come up with like a bucket of this really interesting sort of super absorbent material.
guys, so I hope you found this uh, video interesting. Um, perhaps not interesting. Yeah, I suppose the core stuff. But yeah, so it's C O O R, and you can buy it on the internet. Um, so yeah, that was a really, really interesting experiment. I've done, I've done, uh, I've done ten pots, and I've still got over half of it left. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bag it up in this bag which they provide, which I don't think is going to be big enough. Um, and then I'm gonna. I didn't have enough pots for all of the uh, things I've got. Um, and obviously, these ones I've got now, I'm gonna have to start hardening them pretty soon. Uh, so, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it back inside just to sort of recover um, from their sort of dying, climbing over each other survival state. Um, and then, in about a week's time, I will go back. Um, I'll. I'll put, I'll do another video, I'll, uh, I'll just put them out in the garden, don't have to fly away, um, yeah, put them out in the garden, um, and I'll do another video. Um, I'm going to say it mainly, uh, sort of over the next week, um, or couple of weeks, it is going to be gardening videos, because that's what needs to be done, um, but pretty much after that I'll just go back to normal survival videos as well, I've, probably, I've got a couple of them coming, um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, so I'm just going to sort of clear up this now, um, um, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.